Welcome at a Planet Zoo Steam Workshop item which I'm going to show you all my work and this first work is a Mortal Engine inspired vehicle. Now I'm just going to show you around but I'm also going to tell you a little bit about what I'm planning on to do in the future because a lot more pieces will pop up onto my channel and it is something for real big. Now just first Currently I'm busy with the career mode, after that I will do challenge mode and after that I'm going to do the sandbox mode and then all these pieces will come together. I'm going to make all these pieces off camera and will just show you off onto my channel and then slowly but surely you will get idea on what I'm planning to do. Now this first piece is, was just a idea inspired like I said before from Mortal Engines uh, slash Apocalypse slash Mad Max. I wanted to create something real big. I wanted to create something messy but still beautiful. And in the end I created this small vehicle down here. This is the V1.0. I started off actually with the idea that I wanted to have a steering mechanism like a motorcycle so basically over here there's the steering wheel the four people or four animals can actually push this wheel and then this whole uh, yeah this vehicle can steer now of course there is no engine mechanism in this thing because I didn't thought about that I wanted to play some elephants in front of it with chains um, but that felt a little bit wrong since this game is all about treating the animals good right that is what this planet zoo is all about so i left that plan off the table and the idea is also that i'm going to use some panda bears that will control this whole mad max apocalypse idea which is this guy i want to place a lot more actually of these guys around now this is not going to be the only vehicle that i'm um, having because of that, there is a lot bigger guy I'm going to make. This is going to be a very tight one. a Something like a 4K blueprint, so 4,000 pieces. This one only has 1,000 something. Uh, 1,390 about. Um, yeah, let me just show you around. So I started this project without the idea on how I'm going to place everything right normally you have like a cargo space or you have a a living room and you know that kind of stuff um so and i also did this in stages so uh for day one and maybe day two i just built this front piece here because i've got a certain amount of focus and after that the focus will be gone and i run out of ideas and i have learned as a artist because i'm working with blender um, that sometimes you need to stop in order to continue your work again. There are some people who can just uh, create something very big and beautiful from reference pictures. But if you just do this from out of your mind, it can be very tiring. And yeah, at some point you don't know what to do. I was really unsure about what I wanted to do at the top. I wasn't even sure it would look cool. And in the end, I made it very, very cool. So over here... In order to get on the vehicle, you need to use these ropes. These ropes you can find on both sides of the vehicle. Uh, I made a little bit of a balcony here with the idea for low ground troops with spears and bows that can have a, a lower ground feel. You have to excuse me for the camera. And in here, here is like the crew deck, as I like to call it. There are some beds. There are some cargoes, there are some clothing and pots and pans and food and whatever not. And yeah, like it says, the crew deck. So this is where the crew stays. Okay, very nice. So, over here at the back, there's nothing really uh, anything else than just a um, boat. A lot of flags, a lot of colorful stuff, a lot of stuff and things and uh, all kinds of crazy uh, teams. I basically used Africa and Asian team. Uh, maybe here and there I've used something else. Um, yeah, here's some more cargo. Now this building doesn't have an interior. Of course you can make something of it because there's enough space uh, to do so. Uh, in my, actually in the next project, which you can um, find out there, uh, I keeping in mind to use parts 
and shopping places so yeah over here it's very difficult you know to get a pad into and show people off i'm really wondering how this will work if you just place this into a, a monkey habitat will that just climb everywhere and i maybe i should try that too maybe it's going to happen in my future um yeah future idea of the sandbox mode after i'm done after doing all these other things i'm getting a little bit off range here so yeah here i was um here you got the stairs now there are stairs from here to here because over here you have the steering mechanism and if you are like a chubby panda bear it will be very difficult to pass through here right so that's why i made another stairs go that way so you can uh, you know go around and, and get up here i wanted to also add a little bit of planting a little bit of a peaceful like plants and flowers gives a bit of a peaceful idea a little bit of a rest so in here we have the you know, i wanted to make a temple on top it didn't quite work out as i wanted in here because it's a little too white and a little too green i really want it to be you know like i've seen a lot of temples on tv and i don't know google i guess and that kind of stuff um maybe i should have took a reference picture with it um but you know next time on to the bigger target i might make it you know a bit different and a little a little less green inside i just tried to you know dump in a lot of stuff and try to make it look messy and especially full uh, of course it's very empty under the roof but i had very tight space in here um, but I still like it. I, I still like it. That's an important thing to like your own idea too. And of course here we have this guy eating a, a melon and having something to drink. Now I'm going to put a lot more of this stuff uh, onto the workshop. But I'm also going to make more videos so you slowly get the idea of what am I doing. Um, you get an idea of what's going to happen in the future sandbox. Not only going to be vehicles, it's going to be walls, it's going to be uh, guard towers, it's going to be buildings, it's going to be... I'm, I'm going to make so much stuff. And because I need to make so much stuff, I, I just want to, you know, continue the career mode, then go to challenge mode, and then to sandbox mode. So I should be ready um, when we reach the sandbox mode to build the ultimate zoo. Um... Yeah, because when I need to make this stuff, when I'm actually starting the zoo, the zoo is going to take a very long time. And I really find it difficult to do this on camera, to build this stuff in one hit. Uh, it really took me a couple of days to build it in stages, to refresh my mind, to get a fresh idea on uh, how to continue. Um... Yeah, stuff like that. Now, of course, I've got here two other workshop items which I made with Beta. Um, of course, this fountain doesn't really fit in. Uh, it's still very... Uh, it's still a nice piece, though. <laughs> Grumpy guy with his little hat on and some flowers. Um, this this thing is very uh, willing on to Steam Workshop. People like this uh, piece down here. And of course I've got a temple from the beta from the map I can't play anymore for some reason. Uh, I think it's also because the map isn't linked to your profile anymore of the uh, starting. When you click on a brand side mode there should be like a save there. Um, yeah but I still have this thing left. So at least something right. Uh, maybe I'm going to uh, place this thing somewhere too. Um, but for now, this is just going to be it. Let me know down below in the comment section what you think. You can find a link to my uh, Steam Workshop items off Planet Zoo. You can download this stuff yourself. Have some fun with it. Experiment with it. Because, yeah, like I said before, I really wonder what will happen if you just drop this thing into a, a monkey habitat. Will it just start climbing everywhere? And, you know, whatever. Whatever they will just do with it. And, uh... Yeah, you see, I'm a guy of details, right? <laughs> and of course, the comparison with this tiny little car. Like, look how huge this thing is. Beautiful, huh? So yeah, this is going to be it. And I'll uh, see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.